To the landmark conference we go for a doubleheader between Moravian and Juniata. All four teams very much in the playoff mix, with the women tipping things off, trying to knock off the 11th-ranked Eagles, coming in with a record of 10-0 and 20-1 overall. We take it to the action as we head out to Johnson Hall. Play for K, breast cancer awareness game, t-shirts, towels, raffles, all part of the initiative. The Greyhounds also wearing pink uniforms for the fifth straight season. On to the game action, Hillary Murray starting things off with the three from the top of the arc. She would finish with nine points. Alexandra Blair takes the pass down low for the deuce. And from there, it's Alexis Wright. Two fouls going inside as well as the Greyhounds will build themselves an early advantage in this one. Here comes Juniata, however, in the paint. For the deuce is Jordan Hilleman. She finishes with seven points at the half, 28-27. The Greyhounds on top. Second half, Hillary Murray with a runner through the lane. And the recruiter then follows as she nails the jumper for two of her 18 points on the afternoon. Blair, a solid afternoon as well as she hits a short jumper. She goes 14 points, eight rebounds. Moravian up by one midway through the second half as Cruder in transition puts up two more. But Jordan Specs three will put Juniata back on top. She would finish with 10 points on the afternoon. Ashton Bankos gets through the defense for two of her eight points. And Kate McDonald in transition. Juniata with the victory. They win by three, 63-60. You're fine. We got to play 40 minutes, and uh, you know, it, they're they're the best team in the league. We got to play hard, and and uh, you know, see what happens. And I, I thought that's what we did. We played hard, but we didn't play. Uh, you know, for except for a couple uh, possessions. You know, it was tough. Everyone was really excited. It was the pink game. It's a big game. It's Juniata. They're, they were 20 and 1 coming into it. So we wanted to really come out and get a win and um, prove that we are like a championship team. We were pretty confident coming in. I don't know. Our annual uh, pink out uh, for cancer, raising money, uh, fundraiser for uh, cancer. And it's through the WBCA, the Women's Basketball Coaches Association. Uh, it's called Play for K. K. Yao, former North Carolina State coach that passed away, and uh, you know, I and I said it to the girls before the game. It's it's a uh, it's a it's bigger than basketball, and and uh, hopefully we 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 got that. We understand that, and and uh, you know, it's just really neat to see everybody in pink. Prior to tip off, junior guard DJ Strayhorn recognized after going over 1,000 points in his career with a win over Susquehanna. That came on Friday night. To the game, Raven 7 3, Juniata at 6 4. Brian Scully drains the baseline three. From there, Kevin Stapleton follows as he hits the triple as well. He would finish with 11 points. Garrett Johnson takes the feed inside for the easy lane, two of his eight points. Kevin Pinconian drills the three at the half. Juniata up by 228 to 26. Second half action, former Liberty and Freedom Product Izel Dickerson with the three. He hits for six points on the night. DJ Strayhorn with a triple as well. Team high 13 points for him. And it's time for Juniata to shine. Brian Scully hits a long range three. This comes from the corner. He finishes with 10 points. Nate Higgins comes up and he hits as he finishes with 11 points, nine rebounds. Juniata posts a 65-50 win. They, they outplayed us in terms of playing hard and we weren't very smart. We got frustrated with the fact that we couldn't score. And then, uh, and then we, we came apart a little bit uh, in, in a couple different situations. So, Just look forward to us uh, getting some more Ws, you know. We're going to play hard and, and push towards the championship. Before the game last night, I was really thinking about it. But once I started to play, I forgot all about, you know, reaching my thousand. And, and before today's game, it's a thing of the past, you know. I'm looking forward. Well, you got three games left. And, uh, it's in our hands. I mean, we're, we're tied for second and uh, three games left. If we win, we're, we're in pretty good shape.